Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be just diving in to a bunch of new stuff, just a lot of new product, things that I haven't gotten around to, things that I've been wanting to try. I figured that I would sit down, I have enough and I have pretty much everything that I would need for an entire full face of new products. So that is what we are going to be doing today. It's been a it's been a minute since I've uploaded a video. We went on vacation to London and then we came back and then we just went on vacation again for our children's spring break um, to Florida, which was great, but I caught a cold. And so, you know, I've just... <sighs> It's really, it's been tough, okay? It's been tough. And I've been wanting to sit down and film for a while, but it seems like something just continues, like everything. Something is always coming up that prevents me from sitting down. But today, I'm not letting it stop me, okay? We're back at it and get ready. Get ready for more consistent uploads. I also started school, so you know, there's that as well. Um, my plate's quite full, but I am absolutely making it a priority to continue to post at least once, if not twice a week. So stay tuned for that. I feel like I'm constantly trying to film more, upload more, but something is just always coming up. But that's just life. Anyway, for today, I figured it would be kind of like a first impressions, full face of first impressions. Like I said, I have a ton of new stuff. So let's get into it. And yes, that includes concealers and color correctors as well. So to begin the look, I'm starting with two new products. I've been sticking with my NYX pencil, like the ultra fine pencil and the NYX, what is it called? The brow pen. I always forget the name of that brow pen, even though I love it. And I literally use it every single time I sit down to do my makeup. Um, but I bought the brow glue, the NYX brow glue, and Lawless was kind enough to send over their soft fill brow pencil. So I'm gonna be using these two in order to fill in the brows. My hair is a bit darker, so I'm kind of not sure how well this is gonna go. I tend to stay away from, oh, okay. It's a bit more taupey. I thought it was gonna be like very like milk chocolate, the pencil, and I was like, mm, not gonna work, not gonna work for me. So what I'm gonna do is start off with the brow glue. So this, unlike their original, is tinted, and the shade on this one is dark brown. I've been trying to allow my brows to just grow, um, and I think I finally have them down to where, I mean, they're very, very fine, but I do have brows. So whenever I apply a brow glue, they, you know, you can see them a little bit more, at least. You can see them just a bit more. I like the original brow gel, because it does, it like keeps your brows in place. They're not going anywhere. But I wanted to get one with the tint so that that way it, you know, glues them down, but it also adds a bit of fullness, just a little bit of thickness to the brow. I'm going for a more subtle look today. So this, this is good. It's light, it's not too intense. Um, it adds just a little bit and it keeps everything in place. Now I'm gonna go in with the brow pencil. I feel like my face is too moisturized for this. <laughs> like this is too waxy for, for my face right now. Mm. It is, it looks a bit more like milk chocolatey than it did on the back of my hand. Let's go ahead and brush through those really quick. Hmm, I may still have to go with the brow pen for the brows. I've seriously, I've yet to come across a brow product better than that NYX product. Now for the eyes, I have this Coco Nudes palette from Pacifica. Looks like this, right up my alley as far as like nudes, warm tone shades, mattes. Um, I'm going for something a little bit more on the subtle side today, so I'll play around with the lighter shades from this because they do seem to be quite a bit deeper than what I want for today. Now the only thing that I don't have something new for is eye primer. So I'm just gonna use my uh, trusty Urban Decay eye primer. I'm gonna put my hair up in a clip. 
so it's kind of getting in the way. This palette really does not have many light shades, so I think I'm going to just start with, what am I looking for here? I think maybe fudge. Is that too deep? This is fudge. That's That might be too red. I don't know if I want to go that route. You know what? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think I really do red. Ooh, or the cinnamon shade. It's like a... It's, it's not quite cinnamon. It's more like a terracotta. We'll see. I'm going to pack my brush with this. These are new as well. These BK Beauty brushes. Um, I have been really liking them okay these the eye brushes are amazing their face brushes are really really good too you guys know i love and i talk about sigma all the time these are up there with sigma like i've been reaching for them and that's usually when i know that i've that i've really like loved something when i reach for it over and over and over again um and these are pretty good these are really good brushes very very well made and they blend they blend everything out so well. I've really been liking them. So I'm gonna apply this a little bit here. Oh yeah, the pigment on these. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I do, I, I don't, I wanna keep it minimal. I do wanna keep it minimal. I don't wanna get crazy, um, but I feel like I say that all the time and then my eye look turns glam. It's like it happens instantly too. It's like as soon as I say, I want to keep it natural, glam. Oh yeah, I really like the way that these, or this particular eyeshadow is blending out. It doesn't leave any harsh lines. That's when I know that like an eyeshadow is pretty good, pretty solid, at least in my opinion. When you place it down, especially when you place the eyeshadow down on top of a primer, and it doesn't leave like this harsh line, it's actually able to blend out along the edges. That's when you know. That's when you know. And then I'm gonna go back and grab, I think I'm just gonna grab um, caramel right here. Just a little bit of that. And that is what I'll use here along the inner corner. Just blending that out. And this one's working out really nicely too. Although it has like these little glittery specks in the formula that honestly, when, when brands put glitter in their matte formulas, it just doesn't make any sense to me because the matte formula is just going to, it's going to be very smooth and it's going to completely, like the glitter is not going to stay in it at all, you know, because it's very smooth, very powdery. So the glitter is just going to like fly everywhere, which is why I just don't understand why brands do that. Like this one right here, where is it? This one. You see that? There's like glitter in it, but it blended out really, really well. I'm going to leave the look like this because I don't want to overdo it. I, I tend to do that quite, quite quickly. So far, I've only tried two of the shades. I'm gonna continue to play with it, um, but I like it. Based on the two shades that I tried today, I like it. I think it's gonna be a really nice kind of go-to for matte shades, especially because it seems to have, or it doesn't seem to have, it has a lot of matte shades. I would say they're all, they're all matte, except for this one here, which is, as you can see, kind of like metallic, and this one here, which seems to, seems to be like a satin, more of a satin shade, yeah. And there they are, side by side. So the satin shade, more of the metallic shade, everything else is matte. But if these mattes perform like these mattes, then I think we've got a winner. Next, mascara. I bought this new mascara from Milani. This is their Lash Extending Turbo Technology. Wait, is that what it's called? No, it's not. What is it called? What's the name of this? Just mascara? I don't know. Anyway, this is a new one. They're highly rated lash extensions. I think that's the name of it. Um, let's try it out. Let's see. This one reminds me, oh, what's that brand? You guys know the brand I'm thinking of and I just can't. It's at the tip of my tongue. I'll think of it. Like the, the wand reminds me of a very popular mascara that I tried 
and I, Thrive. I think it was Thrive Cosmetics. Is that right? I think it was. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. So this definitely is extending my lashes because I know for a fact they're not this long. Uh, okay. I don't, I like, I like the wand, but I don't love the wand because it does tend to just grab a lot of product, which is great, you know, because you want to apply or you want to deposit quite a bit, but look what's happening. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to let it dry and then we can brush it away at that point. But it almost feels like um, it's kind of clumping up a little bit because of the type of wand. Although it's really lengthening the lashes so much so that they're like touching my lid. So lengthening, absolutely, absolutely. As far as volume, uh, yeah, I'd say it gives quite a bit of volume, but I think it's a, uh, it's true to its name because it's extending my lashes like quite, quite a bit. I mean, look at the difference, right? Um, I think that next time that I grab this, which I will absolutely grab this again, I'm going to pair it with a volumizing mascara. I love pairing mascaras together, like something volumizing and something that's going to extend. Pair it together. It just... It's great. It's great because of the different wand shapes that also helps. And then of course the different formulas, one to lengthen, one to volumize uh, or to add volume that it, it just, if you haven't, if you haven't tried two mascaras yet, try it and let me know what you think. So a little messy first impressions of the mascara is that I like it. I like it. I like the formula. It definitely lengthens. It does seem to be just a little bit messy, just a little bit. So I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm going to wipe it away, but we're going to continue here. So for the under eyes, we're going to try this one today. This is from Pixie. It is their CC color correcting pen. Okay. They're CC Crayon. I bought both of the shades that they have. They only have two. Um, one is in the shade. What's the shade name? I have no idea. What's the shade name? So what I'm gathering from this is that one is more of a color correcting shade. So this one is called By Under Eyes. And this is more of a brightening shade because it's called Bright Under Eyes. So let me swatch them both. We can also get a feel for what the formula is going to be like with the swatches. So this is the color correcting shade. You can't really see it. It like blends into my complexion. Come on. Yeah, it's that, that right there. Okay, and now this is the brightening shade. I thought it was gonna be pink. It's not really pink. Looks kind of like chalk. I mean, it has a hint of pink, um, but I'm absolutely not going to be using the brightening pen. There it goes. I'm going to be using the color correcting pen. As far as the formula, just feeling it on the back of my hand, it does feel pretty hydrating. It doesn't feel, it feels kind of like, uh, it feels like cream turned to powder type of a consistency. So I'm just going to apply it directly onto the under eye area and then I'll just blend it out using my ring finger. We'll see how well it corrects and what it looks like. All right. Honestly, I don't know. I may have overdone it. This could be a bit much, but let's blend it out and see what it looks like at least. It's quite yellow. I like my color correctors to be a bit more peach than yellow. This one's definitely very yellow. Okay, so initial impression, it's fine. Um, I don't love the shade because for me, it just feels more like a concealer shade than a correcting shade, at least for me. You may be someone who likes your under eye correctors to be more yellow than peach. Personally, I like them to be more peach than yellow. So, you know. Next, 
primer. Since I'm using a Lawless foundation, I figured that I would use the my new Lawless Set the Stage primer. Um, I haven't really played around with this formula very much, but I've been wanting to, so this is the perfect time for it. Oh, you know what? I should have done the primer before the color corrector, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go around it, not applying uh, primer underneath the eyes anyway, at least not this one. All that I had underneath the eyes was skincare, by the way. And you know what? Let me see if this is dry enough because it's just driving me nuts. Uh, what I do in order to get rid of it, I'll just go in with like a brow spoolie and just lightly. Usually it comes off a lot easier than this, but this formula is like really holding on. <laughs> okay, there it goes. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the new Lawless um, Pressed Powder Foundation. They sent over a couple of their shades. I have light, medium, and medium. This is what light medium looks like, which I think I might be using for today. Let's see what medium looks like. Hmm, okay, side by side, you can definitely see the light medium and the medium. Just swatch a little bit of it. As far as the coverage on this, it is meant to deliver medium buildable coverage. I think I might go with medium. And that's, so that's medium, or that's light medium rather, and then this is medium. Actually, yeah, I don't know if light medium might be a little too light or if medium may be a little too deep. Which one matches my chest more? I know Jackie Ina likes to do that, so let's try her chest trick. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with light medium because it just blended into my, well, so did the medium. What? Okay, so I have, here, I'll show you guys again. So this is gonna be light medium. And this is the medium. I don't know which one to choose. You know what, we just got back from Florida. I got a little bit of color, so we're going with medium today. But it's nice to know that they pretty much both match. <laughs> you know, maybe I can use the light medium under the eyes and the, excuse you, Luna, and the medium all over the face. So let's do that. Oh, and they also sent over their multi-purpose or multi-use powder brush. So let's apply it with that. And this is what it looks like. Dual ended, super, super soft, pretty dense, but like it's dense, but not super dense to where, you know, it's going to give you full, full coverage every single time you use it. That I would say like this absolutely delivers super full coverage just because of how dense it is. It doesn't allow the product to really seep into the bristles. And so it deposits it all over your face a lot better. This one, I feel that it's soft enough to wear, you know, medium coverage. Medium coverage is gonna be great. It's gonna deliver medium coverage. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and apply it. Oh yeah, so this is medium. And holy cow, I'm really impressed. Obviously haven't worn it for a full day or anything like that, but look at, look at that. It looks so light and natural. I mean, I'm, I've never been a powder foundation girl, but maybe Maybe I can be, I don't know. My gosh, this looks amazing. This looks so good. I mean, look at the difference. You can see all the tiny little imperfections here, which are totally fine, totally normal. But then look at this. It still looks like skin. It feels super lightweight, like nothing. And it just smooths everything out. It just looks so good. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what I just realized? I probably should have done concealer before this, but that's okay. Look at it, it took care of that 
red spot and it doesn't look heavy. My gosh, this looks really good. It looks really good. First impressions, super impressed. I'm gonna apply foundation around the nose after I am done with concealer. For concealer, we're working with the Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer. These apparently have aloe vera, okay? And they do not have any fragrance, any silicones, any mineral oil, and they're vegan. Anyway, the two shades that I have with me are Warm Shell and is it on here? I don't know where the shade name went on this one, but it's okay. I'll have it listed in the description box below. I will have it there because I know I still have the email from when I bought them, so it should say. Anyway, this is what the concealer shades look like. The lighter one is the one that I actually have the name for, which is Warm Shell, which is not what I'm going to be wearing today. I'm going to be working with the deeper of the two, which I don't know the name to, but like I said, I'll have it down below. That's a lot of coverage. That's a lot. It's a lot of coverage. And I'm gonna blend it out with my trusty little triangle powder puff. All right, so the coverage is pretty high, uh, not full, but maybe if I were to pair this with a different corrector, it might be, but with this one, not so much. I'm not really sure if we can layer the concealer, but we're gonna try it. So again, just applying a little bit more right here and a little bit more right here. For some reason, I just have like, my left side has become the side that has like the under eye darkness. It's just, it stretches out a bit further. Do you guys have that? Where like one side has a bit more darkness than the other. So I'm finding that I've had to use a bit more product over on the left side than I do on my right side. I don't know. Can you guys relate to that? All right. So it built up on top of itself really nicely. It didn't like do anything to the layer that was underneath it. And it did add a bit more coverage. So it looks, it looks good. Looks pretty good. I have a feeling that this is more of a matte formula. I didn't really read a whole lot about it. Um, probably should have, but based on how it dried down on the back of my hand, it definitely has more of that like matte finish type of a formula, um, at least from what I can tell. So I'm not going to set this heavy, if at all. Uh, I don't have new setting powders, but I do plan on using the powder, the pressed powder foundation kind of around it. And then if I need to, I might grab the lighter shade of the two powder foundations that I have and set the under eye area a little bit with that. That'll not only set the concealer into place, but it'll also give me a little bit, a little bit extra coverage, um, which is always nice. So I'm just going back with the powder foundation and I'm going to finish applying it because I did skip out on the, on the nose since I had not yet done the concealer. And I think I am most definitely gonna set this because it's already, you know, kind of moving around a little bit, which I do not like. So I'm gonna take the pressed powder, the lighter of the two, and I'm barely like, ooh, barely tapping on to it with the powder puff. And I'm gonna use this to just lightly set the under eye area. Did I just find a new favorite under eye powder? I don't know, I don't know. I shouldn't get too ahead of myself because I tend to do that a lot. Looks pretty smooth. It looks a lot better than it did before. Let me just say that. And then of course we're going to go back to our little palette to just finish, finish the under eye area. So I'm grabbing a little bit of cinnamon again, little tiny bit of caramel and maybe chocolate bloom, which is this the lightest shade. Well, actually, other than the white, it's the lightest shade. Just running this back and forth. 
I used to be so scared of adding anything onto the under eye area because I thought that it was going to make my dark circles look worse. But then I realized that it actually helps hide them a little bit more. So if you're not already doing that, I highly, highly encourage it. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara under here. Just a tiny bit. I'm gonna try to be really careful because you guys saw just how crazy this mascara can get. All right, now this is what I was gonna do for bronzer. Um, I'm not gonna use the highlighting side. This is a product that I've actually had in my possession for a few months now, and I just, I have not used it as much as I would like to, and it's actually a really, really good product. I took it with me on vacation recently and could not put it down. It gives you the most, oh, by the way, I'm talking about the Oma Beauty Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick. This one's in the shade Honey Honey, which is number three. It has a highlighting side, which as you can see, quite yellow, more on like the gold, gold side um, or highlighter side. The highlighter side is more gold than anything. My goodness, words are just escaping me today. Anyway, the bronzing side looks like this. It adds the most beautiful, subtle, sun-kissed look to the skin. I just, and it blends like a dream. It just, I really, really like it. I really, really like it. And so I've been using it, I've been using it all the time. I'm going to see how it works on top of this foundation though, because I don't, like I said, I didn't think it through. And now I'm placing creams on top of powders, which you're not supposed to do because obviously it might move things around. So I'm just going to go very light with it. If only I can find like clean brushes. Do you guys ever wait until you're completely out of brushes before you're like, okay, well, I guess, you know, you're blending your eyeshadow out with like, I don't know, some sort of like face brush. I think that's when I realized like, okay, I, I think I need to do something about this. Okay, it's still blent out or blended out. I'm telling you words today. It's still blended out fine, even on top of the foundation. Looks like it's blending out really nicely. And you see what I mean? Like it just gives your skin that like very subtle warm effect. It works a lot better underneath powder, but it seems to still be blending out really well. Now for the cheeks, I have these here. These are from uh, Mango People. They sent these three shades over recently and I've been dying to try them. Um, I also wanna try them underneath the eyes because these little guys, you can use all over the face. The lids, the cheeks, the lips, like the nose, whatever, you know? And I asked them um, whether or not you can use it underneath the eyes. And she's like, you know what? Yes, the person that got back to me said, yes, you just wanna make sure that you don't get it in your eye, which obviously that's like with all products, right? And so I do plan on like color correcting maybe like further down, maybe not all the way up to the under eye area, like not to the lash line, but just keeping it further down. These shades are beautiful, okay? Beautiful shades. So here, I'm like running out of places to swatch things. Let me do it on my right hand. So this first shade is peach. As you can see, it would be such a good color correcting shade. This next one is apricot. They look similar, but they're a little different. See that? It's more on the pink side, whereas the peach is more on the orange side, the apricot is more on the pink side. And they also sent over Gulabi. Is that how you pronounce this? G-U-L-A-B-I. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is more of the pink shade. This is a bit more pink than the other two. More of a berry shade. That one right there. And you see how beautiful these are? Super, they seem like they're super easy to blend. I had, this is the first time that I'll be using them. And I'm not really sure which one. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with apricot. Is that the one? Yes. So I'm gonna apply it onto the back of my hand over here instead of placing it right on my cheeks. All right, so I'm gonna use a large angled contour brush, not to contour with, of course, just taking a bit of that. So I'm just gonna apply it right here. Oh yeah. Ooh, I really like it. 
And it also, like, it's pretty dewy. So it, it looks kind of like a baked blush. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm gonna put a little bit here. Just pretend I got a little sunburned, which I kind of did in Florida. My gosh, the Florida sun is unlike anything that I've ever experienced, okay? I, we reapplied sunblock twice. Okay, twice. I was working with like what I usually work with back when we were in Col or well, yeah, that too. Back when we were in Charleston, okay, we went to the beach all the time and I I had it down. You always do a cream before a spray. You double, you do you use double, okay, double sunscreen just to make sure that the sun doesn't get you and you reapply after like one hour, not two. We did all the things we still manage to get a little burned. Like what is with the Florida sun? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I love it. Look at that, oof, love it. And last but not least, we have the lips. Now I do have, I have four different um, options for the lips and I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna use. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with e.l.f. We're gonna go with e.l.f., sure, maybe? Mm, maybe too pink. I don't know. Let's see. What about Essence? I have... Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this one. This is such a perfect nude. I just swatched it. This is what... I, I don't know if I can show you guys. This is what it looks like right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one. So this one is from Essence. It is their Hydra Matte lipstick uh, in the shade Honey. Wait, Honey, S-T-L-Y. Am I missing something? Honey, Honey Slee? Honey Slee. Maybe like Honestly, Honey Slee? I don't know. Really, really, really nice shade. Let's see. Oh yeah, and they have this like subtle scent to them. Nothing too strong. I probably shouldn't be going with like a matte lipstick because I just said my lips are dry, oh, but that's okay. That's okay. This is kind of like a, a creamy matte. Oh yeah, okay. So I was kind of worried that it was gonna be too matte and I have dry lips, so that's not gonna look great. But this is super creamy, super creamy, super comfortable. And yeah, they're a little matte. They look a little bit matte but they're hydrating. They're a hydrating mat. I love it. Love. Now that we're done, I have some thoughts, okay? First, what did we use first? The brow glue, love it. The brow pencil, maybe like on days where I'm just gonna be using the pencil, but with the pencil, you've gotta make sure, and I think this is for all pencils like across the board, you've gotta make sure that your skin underneath isn't like, really hydrated, meaning that you don't have like a fresh layer of like skincare um, because then it's not really going to glide onto the skin. Like it will glide, but it won't leave any pigment behind. So that was my mistake. Next time I will absolutely be using that without anything underneath it. Um, I, you know, the color, I thought it was going to be a bit more taupey, but it looks a little bit more warm. But now that I'm looking at it, like I'm not, I'm not too mad about it. I think I think it'll be fine. Um, next, the eyeshadows, I like them. I used three of them in total today. I am gonna continue to play with it, like I said, and yeah, if all of the matte shades and all of the matte formulas in this perform like the ones that I used on the eyes, then this is a keeper and definitely like a go-to for like travel because it is so nice, little, compact, you know? Okay, next, mascara, okay. Love it. I, I, I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with this mascara because it absolutely lengthened my lashes. They look so long, so, so long, but it was a bit messy. It was a little messy. So, you know, will I continue to use it? Absolutely. I'm going to pair it with other mascaras, um, but it's just a little messy. So get ready to clean up or to try your best to avoid your lids because... Uh, I had an issue with that. Next, color correctors, no, not for me. 
Mm -mm. The consistency, like I said, it was more so like a cream to powder. And I honestly cannot stand cream to powders, cream to powder anything. I just feel like, yeah, the concept sounds great. And maybe it works for some people, like perhaps if you're really oily, but if you have any kind of dryness, it just like accentuates the dryness and it just looks awful. Like it really does. It's like hydrating, but it looks super dry. And I just don't love those formulas. So for that reason, the color correctors, no, thank you. Um, the concealer, however, I do, I do like, but I don't like it on top of this corrector. So I'm going to continue to play with it with different correctors and see if I like those better um, because I have a feeling that perhaps this might be a really good concealer. It's just not paired with the right corrector because if you were to look underneath my eyes right now, I mean, it's fine. It's good, not great, you know? And so I wanna give it a fair shot. I also feel like it might be a little bit too yellow and I don't know if it's the concealer shade or the pixie corrector that's making the under eye look just a bit a bit too yellow. Um, for the foundation and the primer together, my goodness, this is, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm calling it right now, but I feel like, and I think I'm close enough to you guys, I feel like it just made my skin look so smooth, so radiant, just beautiful. I, I, this is like my favorite combination right now. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I have to, I have to do more um, testing of this, like more days. But as of right now, like this combination, it looks so nice on the skin. So, so nice. So I really, really love this. Um, let's see, what else did we have after that? Contour, you guys know, I really like it. If you've if you've had your eye on this, because it's been out for a while and you're like, yeah, yeah, maybe I should try it, maybe not, do it. It blends out so nicely, especially for the summer. This is gonna give you such a beautiful, like sun-kissed look. And these, I'm like, I'm blown away by these. By uh, like, these are great. I can't wait to try them underneath the eyes. And then I'll get back to you guys as to whether or not they work that way. But as far as using them along the cheeks, along the nose. It gives this beautiful like flush of color, but barely there. So you can build it up, you know, but you don't have to worry about it looking like this just straight out of the tube. Do it like I did though. That would be my recommendation is to grab it from the back of your hand with a brush and then apply it because that that way you have more control over exactly where you're placing it um, and what it looks like, the intensity that is. I really love the fact that even though it's a cream and I placed it on top of a powder, it still looks great. It looks like I blended it out, like I had no issues. Love it, love these. And last but not least, the lipstick. I really like it. It's a matte lipstick, but I'm telling you, it feels so comfortable. Very, very light. I love this shade. The other shade that I chose is Peach It. So it's a bit more on obviously the peachy side. Looks, oh yeah, that wouldn't have, or maybe looks like that. Um, I'm glad I went with this one. It's, it's such a good nude. I have such a hard time finding nude shades for my lips and for my complexion. This one, this one's a good one. So if you and I have similar complexion, try this shade from Essence. You won't be disappointed. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's try on haul, I guess, if you will, um, and that you found it useful, entertaining, etc. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future reviews, future videos, and also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah! Bye!